The European Strategic Intelligence and Security Centre is a self-described think tank and lobbying group dealing with issues related to terrorism and security. ESISC notes on its website that its lobbying operations can defend an industrial portfolio, the economic opening of a new market, or the political interests of a state. Topic. About ESISC ESISC was founded in April 2002 by Claude Moniquet. In 2019, the ESISC website listed staff members from Russia, Morocco, Italy, and Belgium. In August 2007, the Belgian Ministry of the Interior renounced the advisory services of ESISC, accusing Claude Moniquet of embezzlement and illegal possession of arms. In 2018, Claude Moniquet announced that ESISC had entered into a collaboration with the Washington Strategic Intelligence Center (WSIC), a new American think tank. According to its founders, all of whom are Moroccan, WSIC follows the road traced by our king, His Majesty Muhammad VI, may God glorify his rule." Moniquet and his colleagues at ESISC promote controversial theories claiming that George Soros controls an international conspiracy through which he wants to destabilize sovereign states in order to impose his agenda and defend his financial interests. In a 2017 report, ESISC warns that Soros financed destabilization operations are targeting numerous states, including Russia, Hungary, Turkey, Ukraine, Azerbaijan, Macedonia, and Serbia. Topic: <inaudible> Election observers. Representatives of ESISC participated in 2013 Azerbaijani presidential elections and 2015 parliamentary elections as observers. They evaluated the elections positively and criticized the assessments of the OSCE ODIHR mission, in which the elections were recognized as inappropriate to democratic norms. According to the Freedom Files Analytical Center, ESISC lobbies for Azerbaijan's interests and provides services of false observers, whose task is to participate in the elections of autocratic states as observers, inform on a democratic vote, and criticize the OSCE ODIHR observation mission according to Robert Colson Radio Free Europe Radio Liberty ESISC is a part of Baku's lobbying efforts to use analytical centers to change public opinion about Azerbaijan topic <laughs> report on western sahara In 2005 and again in 2008, ESISC issued reports on Western Sahara that dovetailed closely with official Moroccan views and claimed that there existed a link between Al-Qaeda and the nationalist group Polisario, which seeks Western Sahara's independence from Morocco. Western Sahara expert Jacob Mundy described ESISC's publications as think tank reports paid for by the Moroccan royal palace. To discredit Polisario, Le Journal Hebdomadaire, a leading Moroccan independent weekly, published an article critical of the first ESISC report and noted that it reflected the official views of the Moroccan government. Moniquet then sued the newspaper in a Moroccan court, which ordered Le Journal Hebdomadaire to pay him $360,000. Unable to pay the fine, Le Journal Hebdomadaire was closed, in what Mundy termed the conclusion of a successful five-year campaign to drive one of Morocco's few independent media voices out of existence. According to Moroccan journalists, this was the largest ever fine against the media in Morocco, and the Committee to Protect Journalists noted major irregularities in the trial. Another press freedom organization, Reporters Without Borders RSF, described the trial as politically motivated and unfair. Human Rights Watch also voiced concern over the trial, while Freedom House termed the lawsuit a politically motivated effort to bankrupt the magazine. Topic: The Report Republic of Azerbaijan, a model of good governance. 
A month before the 2013 Azerbaijani presidential elections, ESISC issued a report entitled The Republic of Azerbaijan, a Model of Good Governance. According to Robert Colson, a correspondent of Radio Free Europe, the haphazardly edited and ungrammatical report praised the stable social welfare and the situation for women and religious minorities in Azerbaijan, noting that the ESISC website advertises customized reports, analysis, and Briefings responding exactly to the needs of each client in his or her sector of activity. Colson accused ESISC of operating as a front for Azerbaijan. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Syria, Rifat al-Assad, and Russia. ESISC has also worked on behalf of members of the al-Assad family, producing a laudatory report in 2010 that portrayed rival al-Assad a cousin of Syrian President Bashar al-Assad as a leader of the Syrian opposition and a democratic alternative, struggling for human rights. Rival is the son of Rifat al-Assad, brother of former Syrian President Hafiz al-Assad. According to France 24, Rifat al-Assad personally oversaw the 1982 Hama massacre, and Human Rights Watch reports that he ordered the extrajudicial killings of an estimated 1,000 prisoners. During a single day in 1980, by 2019, ESISC had scrubbed the 2010 report from its website. However, another report by Claude Moniquet from 2011 that similarly highlights rival al-Assad remained on the website. In 2017, ESISC published a report lauding a new constitution drafted for Syria by the Russian government, claiming that its analysis had determined that it promoted values of democracy and freedom. Topic the report the Armenian connection On March 6, 2017, ESISC published the report The Armenian Connection, which leveled severe accusations against a number of NGOs specializing in human rights protection or researching human rights abuses and corruption in Azerbaijan, Turkey and Russia. ESISC claimed that these organizations aim to create a network of PACE deputies, who will participate in a political war against Azerbaijan. A follow-up report published on April 18 claimed that the anti-Azerbaijani network included a number of prime ministers of European countries, Armenian officials, and public organizations, Human Rights Watch, Amnesty International, Human Rights House Foundation, Open Dialogue, European Stability Initiative, Helsinki Committee for Human Rights, etc. According to the report, this anti-Azerbaijani network is funded by the Soros Foundation to serve the interests of George Soros and Armenia. ESISC also alleged that the Soros network targets other nations, such as Russia and Hungary. According to the Freedom Files Analytical Center, the ESISC report is propaganda and seeks to stop criticism of lobbying and corruption. The European Stability Initiative stated that the ESISC report is full of lies. Topic Notes. <laughs>